In this video I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of sine x to the fifth power times cosine x squared dx. I am going to be using this sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. I'm going to solve this for sine squared x because the trick in doing this integral here is to take this sine function right here and to rewrite it as a power of sine x squared and then that's going to allow us to do some substitutions which will then make it pretty much a straightforward integral after we get that done. Alright, so um, I'm going to take, I've got five sines all right, and I need a sine squared so I'm going to do sine squared squared power raised to a power means I multiply so 2 times 2 is 4 and then I'll have an extra sign left over so I'm going to rewrite this as a sine squared x quantity squared that gives me four signs all right the cosine squared x is just going to stay the same now I've got to have a total of five so I'm going to have an extra sine x out here all right, so that is doing no more than taking these two quantities and making sure that when I multiply them out, I get sine x to the fifth power. All right, now what that allows me to do then is to then make this substitution a 1 minus cosine squared x for this sine squared x right here. So I'll have the integral of 1 minus cosine squared x quantity squared. The cosine squared x is still there the sine x is still there. Alright, now at this point I can go to a straight u substitution here. Inside function something um, that cosine x is being squared right there so the most inside function would be cosine x so that's what I'm going to let my u be. So I'm going to let my u be cosine x. When I take the derivative of both sides I'll have a negative sine x dx. If I solve for dx all the way down I'll have a du over a minus sine x dx. Okay now at this point we'll come back up here and we'll do some substitutions here. So I'm going to have a 1 minus. I'm going to replace cosine x right there with my u and it'll be a u squared quantity squared. I'm going to go ahead cosine x um, cosine x squared here so I'll have another u squared and then I'm going to leave the sine x. Alright now replacing dx with what we said it was going to be I'll have a du over a minus sine x. Alright now these sine x's are going to cross out I can take this negative and pull it out in front so let's do just that part right there. Negative out in front integral of 1 minus u squared squared times that u squared and then the du. At this point I can take this expression right here and I can FOIL it out. So leaving the negative on the outside, the integral of FOILing that I'll have a 1 minus a 2u squared plus a u to the fourth and then times that u squared that's on the outside and then we are going to distribute the u squared so that I have just a straight polynomial curve there. Negative the integral will have u squared minus 2u to the fourth and then plus a u to the sixth and all of that with our du. Now we are at a straight polynomial curve and all we have to do is just straight integration on this. So coming up here to finish that, okay, the negative will still remain out here in front. So I'll have a negative. All right, integrating each one of these, adding one to the exponent is going to give me a one-third u to the third minus. Adding one to the exponent here is going to give me a five, so a two-fifths u to the fifth. And then adding 1 to my exponent here will give me a 1 seventh u to the seventh. Okay, now let's go through and distribute the negative. So in other words, go through and change all those signs. I'll have a negative 1 third u to the third plus a 2 fifths u to the fifth minus a 1 seventh u to the seventh with our plus c out there. Last thing would then be to come back and replace our u in each one of these. So we'll end up with a negative one third cosine x to the third plus a two fifths cosine 
x to the fifth power minus a one seventh cosine x to the seventh power and then plus c. Almost ran out of room right there. All right, so straightforward integration after you get started. Okay, having that odd power of a sine, if you can break it up so that you've got a sine squared x, that makes for a nice substitution, and then that leads to the polynomial, straight polynomial there that you're going to get on your u substitution. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks.